sports strike has prompted many people to buy in bulk and stock up on supplies. But supply chain experts say this is all unnecessary. Investigative reporter Tim McNicholas joins us now with the impact on local stores, Tim. Christine and Maurice, we just visited a store in New Jersey and the toilet paper shelf was empty. Here's the thing, most toilet paper in the U.S. is produced domestically, but that's not stopping the panic buying. Long lines and confusion weren't on the grocery list this week, but that's what some shoppers found at this North Plainfield Costco. But you guys don't have anything in stock? We missed, you don't listen to me. No, I hear you. We don't okay. keep nothing in the back. No toilet paper and no paper towels. Everyone is stocking up and a little bit crazy. Justin Navarrete and his mother pack seven cases of bottled water into their trunk. We're right now just buying in bulk. So, you know, just survive for a couple of days and see what happens in the couple of weeks that pass by. Abesh Kanazi is the CEO of the Association of Supply Chain Management. Should they be doing that? These products and commodities are not at risk right now of shortages. But again, when you have the perception of scarcity and somebody going to the store and seeing one or two items on a shelf, the perception is that I've got to get mine. He says one reason for that is because consumer confidence has dropped since the pandemic. But during the strike, U.S. producers are still fully operational. Governor Kathy Hochul says there won't be a shortage of food overall, even as experts say some imported fruits like bananas will be impacted. But uh, we may have more apples. Uh, there's plenty of other fruits to substitute for fruits like that. You don't need to go stock up on meat. Over 95% of the meat consumed in the United States is manufactured in the United States. And in fact, if you take some sectors like chicken manufacturing, if the export market is closed down, that may actually mean there's more domestic supply. Of course, there are some industries that will be impacted by this strike. The auto industry, for example, relies in part on East Coast imports. Governor Hochul says if you're planning to get a new car anytime soon, you may want to reach out to your dealership to make sure there are no issues. Christina Maurice. All right, good heads up there. Thank you, Tim.